This video was sponsored by Enhance, Elbil Mac, a better planner, Camp Power, and Bill Componente. Yo, what's up, people? I would like to say nice to see you, but since I cannot see you, maybe I can say uh, I hope you guys not uh, how to say tired to see my face again here. Uh, reason for today is that uh, we have uh, one nice. Uh, well, again, I'm not sure if it's that so nice, but. We have one patient, uh, ID3, which has gone almost 200,000 kilometers and it has, uh, as far as we know, uh, isolation fault in the battery pack. The sto short story is that uh, there was an uh, insurance case. Um, we got the car, we checked it and we offered the insurance company to replace the complete battery pack, but they thought it's too expensive. So we had the opportunity to buy the car. So now is ours project and uh, let's see what we can do with it. So you guys now have opportunity to check how the car is condition. Yes, you got the charging cable. You got a lot of uh, snacks. <laughs> you got uh, winter tires with uh, what you call in English that in uh, Norwegian is pigs, porks, a lot of uh, grounds, dirt, ah, I cannot open the back, yeah I can do that, I can do that. So for spare uh, uh, winter uh, wheels with tires, so it is uh, Continental Ice Contact 3, I don't know if it's good tires or not. Some tires are quite uh, okay conditions, some rust. The so, car seen a washing place, uh, I would say. Yeah, a few months uh, ago. Front discs, it seems to be okay. It looks like they have been changed not so far ago. Still uh, paint. And in the back, we have uh, drums. I remember there was very uh, one very popular uh, Bjorn's video where we uh, took off uh, drums on the ID3, which has uh, which has had just uh, 60,000 kilometers. Do you guys want to see how it looks inside after 200,000 kilometers? In the comments below, right? <laughs> so here again, we have a hole in the seat. Ah, I thought it's a snacks, but it's not snacks. It's already this uh, shit from the seat. Yeah, what we got here? Two screens for free. Key not detected. Hold the key next to the... Ah, I have to un 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 unplug the charging cable. Unplugging charge cable. Okay. Uh. I hang it over there. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, I sent the pictures uh, of this car to my friend and he says, uh, can I ask you something? Do you use this plastic so you don't want to make seats dirty or you don't want to get dirty yourself? But really guys, this is like... Uh, it's like we, we should uh, maybe talk a little bit uh, more about it because some cars that coming for service for to us or not to us are really in uh, uh, how to say nicely unclean <laughs> unclean position situation so sometimes you're really afraid to to touch the wheel or so we need to use the glass uh, glasses gloves and so on yeah I cannot uh, judge everyone, judge everyone because everyone is like busy and so on. But much nicer to work on the car, which is not so dirty, and you are not afraid to to get some bacteria. Okay, so uh, what I done yesterday, I have uh, I read and I um, erased uh, all the fault codes which was in the history. And there was a lot. Um, control battery. Yeah. If you're interested, can pause and read. But uh, 
what I most interesting is uh, oh, gateway, amazing. It's like a reading a book. Uh, energy uh, battery energy control module high voltage service disconnect okay maybe it was disconnected at uh, Müller and then we have uh, battery voltage internal isolation fault battery voltage system isolation fault I'm not sure what's the difference between those but uh, uh, just isolation fault doesn't promise easy repair and hybrid wall budgets, no communication with application servers. So okay, maybe this is not so important. So what I most consider is those two faults. And um, this is uh, confirms uh, what uh, uh, workshop be before us uh, has uh, looked at. Um, this was uh, Mobile and they also found isolation fault in the battery pack. Uh, if I understood correctly, so first time it was just uh, deleted and they let the customer drive and then the car came back with the same fault and they say whoa, 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 it's dangerous, we don't want to take this car in anymore, take it wherever you want and of course it was Elbilmec or they have two choices, Scrapyard or Elbilmec what you would choose? Elbilmec so again uh, I raised the faults yesterday uh, I wanted to charge the car to 100% but I forgot to check it so it charged to 80% but anyway the car is drivable there is an indication about uh, faulty tire low pressure but it's drivable let's park and see if uh, we can read the, some strange faults reg regarding or related uh, isolation fault so hotel is reading modules blocks everything when it's uh, a yellow orange or uh, what is called this color there is a fault there in this module so brakes has one fault telematic has one fault and battery energy module has one fault very interesting all right brakes tire pressure warning very important adaptive cruise control message missing hmm data bus message missing very important gateway we skip telematics secure on board communication communication return mm -hmm. front parking aid sensor eyes or dirt detection for sure dirt Hybrid high voltage battery system, no communication with application service. Very, very uh, dangerous. Charger column detection faulty. What the heck is this? Charge column detection faulty. Huh? What it is? Can we get some explanation? Um, why did functions? Will they help us? Cycles of charging sockets. High voltage battery charger reset mat matting cycles of charging sockets. Yeah, I have to find out what it means and it just is of why VIP medlems, medlems, members. All right, so anyway, uh, if the diagnostic was correct from uh, Volkswagen, uh, they have uh, diagnosed that the module 7 is faulty. I don't know what kind of equipment they used and how they check it that the module 7 is broken, but okay. Let's check that. Uh, so what I want, I want to check in the live data, how is the voltage on the modules? at the moment so I can prepare a model that we have in the workshop to the same voltage and, and if it needs replacement I, we can do it at once then we don't need to charge and wait for one day and then it's, it's charged at the uh, same level yeah some isolation 
information 100 1880 kilohms on positive terminal and 1610 on the negative can it be the problem minus thermal isolation resistance 950 that's for sure a little bit too less i would say without checking what's the minimum all right then the minimum and the maximum is well the difference is quite small so we have uh, 430 volts almost totally so i'm interesting to find out wow how many cells is in one model how to calculate the right value then all right so what we know it's 108 uh, cells in the battery totally and uh, it can be that this battery has seven modules we have to check that if it's correct or not well it is 16 uh, sensors temperature sensors so it doesn't make sense that it's seven it should be eight at least models so if we split 108 cells on eight models then we might have a correct uh, value of uh, of uh, voltage total in the in the one model yeah no we have uh, what is this temperature sensing 17 18 it should be for something different than module modules so um <laughs> so uh, why we bought the car uh, because I thought it's an uh, interesting project and it's interesting to show you and the Bjorn uh, something new not uh, just uh, old Teslas and uh, boring Mercedes EQC um, yeah but uh, we paid for the car uh, 50,000 Norwegian kroner as it is now with uh, yeah, 199,000 kilometers on the clock but uh, uh, almost a year ago we had uh, ID4 with, which has driven 180,000 kilometers and it also had installation in the, one of the models a workshop which took uh, like a done diagnostic on that model um, ID4 have found that the one model had installation fault and by the rules they had to uninstall it neutralize it and uh, i don't know what they done with it but the customer uh, it was a company they were not allowed to take back this uh, faulty module so they brought the car to us with um, a battery where one module was missing uh, at that time we was not able to find uh, one uh, module at the same uh, approximate same condition so we offered to install a used uh, battery pack uh, so customer agreed and uh, we still have that pack with uh, one missing model uh, I have checked on internet that uh, it is uh, very possible that the model <laughs> model ID4 and ID3 has exactly the same models so what we can do um, we can open both uh, battery packs check the data possibility to use one model oh my gosh one ID4 model and install it in this ID3 model everything correct? you understood everything? Um, yeah so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna charge uh, first I'm gonna find out uh, uh, how much energy I have to pump into the new model I will do that and uh, I see you do in the next video where we are gonna work more on this car then we are gonna take down the battery pack of this car beauty and where we are gonna look at how the construction of model oh my gosh of ID3 <laughs> battery is and uh, yeah see you in another video hope so should i say i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and talk to you later 
what we do in the free time, we play puddle. Oop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.